this one. Arizona. My name is Nathaniel. I'm 27 years Alabama. old. Alabama. And I'm in a serious relationship with my car. Morning, baby. I know it's a better car. You're a handsome man. Nathaniel is in a committed relationship. Wait up! He said handsome man. <laughs> with a car that he's named Chase. She met Chase in a resale lot about five years ago. Love you, baby. This is fucking weird. It was love at first sight. His body and then his interior and everything just together just seemed to fit. Why is it a he? Connection. <laughs> Nathaniel's obsession first developed as a teenager when he would build model cars. But he didn't find true love until he met Chase. I find this part of him the most sexy just because of the subtle lines and curves. I'll give him a kiss here and just kind of caress him down the side. My initial reaction was, I was kind of shocked. It was kind of weird because it was just hard to understand. A person develops a strong emotional sexual relationship with an inanimate object. Like the balloons, I suppose. Never understand that. In some cases include attractions to a roller coaster. What? An elevator. And the Eiffel Tower. Honestly, I, I don't know why I feel the way I do. But I just absolutely love Chase. We always have such a good what time the together. Fuck? He likes a lot of the same music I do. We have a favorite song. Oh, it's, really? uh, can't fight this. He <laughs> does he now? <laughs> Has he told you that? <laughs> Feeling of Ariel Speedwagon. I do get a guess how you'd buy something for your fiance or your wife, and then usually for his birthday, I try to do something special for him too. The favorite date would be going to the lookout area. Just lean against him a little and just be with him mainly. Love you. Stop kissing the fucking car! But Nathaniel's relationship with Chase Stop. goes beyond dates and presents. We have our times when we get sexual. Does that feel good? You're a handsome man. Love you, baby. What we do the most often is I like to lean over his fender and across his hood and uh, do little things like that and uh, and kind of press up against him and just and rub against him like that. <laughs> One of his more bold positions is for me to be underneath him. This is surely a joke. Why don't you stick your dick in the in the 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 the? I'm done. I'm so done. Surely this is a fucking joke. For sure. Yeah, put put your dick in the the What's the word? <laughs> the The pipe in the back. Ah, damn it. Oh I can't even remember. Oh no. <laughs> oh, the only hole that the car has. Apart from the fuel tank thing. We put it put it there too for but you know. He really likes that. It's very special to make love to Chase. I am worried for my friend because it's not normal. Car. And you may have people that don't understand and make fun of you. I just wanna know how the cameraman was just like recording it all and just stand there and record this guy like fucking having sex with a car and he's like I've truly seen it all. <laughs> Nathaniel's so attached to Chase, he rarely lets anyone else drive him and never lets Chase out of his sight for more than How 24 hours. How was it him? There have been times it brought tears to my eyes because I wasn't with him at work. His picture's on my desktop, so I see his face all the time. It really bothers me when he gets dinged or scratched. If something were to happen to Chase, I, I, my heart would just stop. I just have to 
gather myself here. I'm sorry. We're only... I am concerned for Nathaniel emotion-wise. I think life would be easier if he did change. Love you. Bro, if that was my child, I'd set the car on fire and then I'd be like... What you gonna do now? <laughs> Snap out of it. I think I'll be a terrible parent. Nathaniel's roommate Kim is one of the few people who know the full extent of his love life. That's why I uh, don't have kids. I guess the reason I don't tell a lot of people is because okay, so it's gonna I don't be know one of the those. response I'm gonna get. No. I always worry about that little bit of disgust that somebody may have. But Nathaniel's biggest fear is how his relationship could affect his career as a customer service somebody. technician. Everybody. I mean, if everybody found out, I'd be worried that it may affect my job. But I love him to death. I, I wouldn't trade him for the world. Good night, baby. I love you. Poor sap that had to, like, put this car together and shit. Had no idea. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> 